Hey everybody, welcome to the OGHS Library channel with Mrs. Berg. I'm Mrs. Berg, and today we're going to be talking about one of my absolutely favorite AI tools to utilize as an educator, Brisk. So Brisk Teaching is actually a Chrome extension. If you go to briskteaching.com, you can click this Add to Chrome for Free button, and it'll take you directly to the Chrome Web Store where you'll have the option to install it. Once you install Brisk, you'll be able to access it from your little extension bar that's up here at the top of Google Chrome. Now, what I love so much about Brisk um, and why I decided to record this video is because they've recently added a feature that I think is going to revolutionize how we plan our lessons, um, especially our lecture-based lessons, because they recently added, added a feature to Brisk that allows you to generate um, Google slide presentations from all sorts of different programs and applications. And I'm gonna show you a few examples of how to do this today. So once you get this installed and added, you're gonna wanna make sure that if you don't see it on your toolbar up here, you can click the little puzzle piece and then you will be able to access it from here. Just make sure that it's turned on. And what this is gonna do is every time you're in a Google document, and I'm gonna move myself over here so you can see this. Every time you're in a Google document, you're gonna see the little brisk icon down here. Now you can turn this feature off. So if you don't like seeing the little icon, you can feel free to toggle this off. You just click, right click up here, and then you'll be able to unpin or remove it from Chrome. You can manage the extension, all of the things that you want to do. Um, or if you just click it, it'll go away. But I want to keep it here because I want to show you all of the amazing things that it can do. So what I have pulled up right here is just a syllabus from one of the courses that I taught a few years ago. Um, but you can use this with obviously any Google Doc that you want to use it with. When you click the little icon, you have all of these different options. Now, many of the features that are offered through Brisk are premium features, so you do have to pay for them. But there are so many free features that are amazing for educators to utilize. So I want to just kind of show you some of these right away. Um, the first one is if you are a teacher that has to give feedback on writing, there are these really great tools that can allow you to give feedback on writing. So you can either give feedback and you can choose kind of the different type of feedback that you want to give. Um, you can select the grade level of the feedback that you're giving. You can specify like what you want it to focus on in the document and all of these things. When you hit brisket, and I will actually just, I'll just show you an example of this. So let's say that I'm doing ninth grade, specify my feedback. Um, let's just do sentence construction, I don't know. And then we'll just brisket and we'll kind of watch it watch it do its thing. So it's going to generate all this feedback that you can just copy and paste into the document for the students as comments or whatever you want to do with it, um, which is a really great way to kind of streamline a lot of the time that you would spend giving feedback on writing to students, especially if you're an English teacher. Another thing that you can do with Brisk is you can inspect the writing for AI use. Now, again, I'm not big on AI detectors because I, I don't think that they work really well, but if you're looking for like a baseline, feel free. But again, don't go criticizing a student for, for like generating all of their writing with AI um, because they might have actually done it themselves. And then if we're criticizing our students, then we're losing their trust. So just kind of, you know, you can use it as a general premise to get started, but then make sure you have a conversation with that student. But my favorite aspect about Brisk is actually this create button. So in this create button, they have all of these different things that you can create based off of the Google Doc that you're working off of. So if I wanted to like create a quiz over the Google document, I can generate a Google form or a Google Doc quiz over it. I can do a rubric, a lesson plan, DOK questions, like all of these different things that I can generate off of the content that is on the Google Doc that I'm working about. But like I said, the new feature that has me so excited is this presentation feature. Because what I can do is I can click that presentation feature and then I can describe the topic of my presentation. So I'll just say introduction to course. I select the grade level and this is an 11th, 12th grade. So we'll go 11th grade. You can select how many slides you want it to generate. So I only want it to generate five slides. You can do with images if you have the premium, otherwise without, you can add your own later and then you hit brisket. And literally, it will only take a minute or two 
for Brisk to generate a slideshow presentation for you off of whatever document you were working with. So this is live. You can see it doing its thing live right now. And obviously, um, you know, like this is a pretty generic slide template. This is the only template that they currently have available. I'm I'm hoping that as this um, continues to get better and better, because it is in kind of like it's beta mode right now, they just released it. As it gets better and better, I think we'll probably see different options for like different slide templates, but at least it's a good start for you. So once you generate this, then you have all of these other options. You can add more slides, you can create a list, a vocab list, all of these different things that you can do from the slides that you generated, which is so, so awesome. Um, and obviously like, I wouldn't have probably this many words on a slide and I would want pictures, but at least it gives you a place to start from. And it does a really good job of breaking the content into like the key, the key points. And I personally think that that's the hardest thing about creating slides is just figuring out, okay, how am I going to, you know, separate out this information? So that's one way that you can use the new presentation generation feature, but wait, there's more because you can also find a YouTube video. Yes, friends, you heard that right. You can find a YouTube video. And here I just have one, a TED talk pulled up about artificial intelligence. And then you can hit the little brisk icon that appears in the corner. And what it'll do is it'll first analyze the YouTube video to make sure that it's able to like read it. So some of the YouTube videos aren't gonna work, but it should work for most of them. And then from here, you can also create a presentation. And again, you can choose the grade level. So maybe I wanna make this you know, more accessible for fourth graders. And then you can hit brisket and it will generate a presentation based off of the content from the YouTube video. So how amazing is that? Like maybe you find one that you wanna use, you think has really great content, but maybe it's like, you know, 20 minutes long and you can't spend that much time watching the video in class. This way you can just condense the information from the video and then either, you know, push it out to your students via Google Classroom or present it to them yourself, whatever you wanna do. So super, super awesome. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's even more. The final way that you can use this amazing presentation tool is actually you can use it on websites. So let's say you're looking and you find like a website with really great information that you want to teach your students. So then you can come to the website and this does not work on every website. It has to be um, like a like a verified website or something like that. So if you don't see the little brisk icon pop up in the corner of your website, you're not going to be able to generate a presentation with it. But this one, um, probably because it was like a .org website, it it's allowing me to click the little icon. And then again, I can create a presentation and I'm just going to do five slides and we'll stick with sixth grade. I can brisk it and it will generate again a presentation based off of all of the information that was on that website. I just can't even emphasize like how much time I think that this can save educators in creating new lesson plans. I'm currently working on creating a, a, a completely new curriculum for a computer science class that we're offering at my school. And I have been using these features to just help me kind of streamline my work process. I really do think that it can make your, your teaching load so much less so that you can spend more time at home with your families. And if you're a student that's watching this, obviously, um, this could be a really great feature if you have to put together a presentation for class, but just kind of remember your academic integrity. It's always a good idea if you check with your teacher beforehand to make sure they're okay with you utilizing these tools. And you would never just want to generate it and then call it good. Because like I said, this is not a presentation that I would ever accept for my students. Um, you know, I, I have certain criteria that I expect. And one of them is that they don't have too much text on the slide. And I think this is too much text on a slide. And then also you would want to include images, um, possibly some discussion questions, that kind of thing. So I hope this video was helpful to you, maybe taught you something new. If you have any questions, please make sure you reach out to me either via email or write a comment below and I will try to respond to you as soon as I see it. Um, until next time though, I will see you and have fun brisking it.